Hello and welcome to Lightwaves by Todderbert. If you enjoy views of flashlights, rechargeable lanterns, and other portable light sources, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon to miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us we have the LightStar LS90. This is a two AAA powered high CRI flashlight. I got this off Amazon for a total of $18.99 and I'm pretty excited about this flashlight. I had owned this flashlight before under the name Terralux. And if you look at the link below that I have there, you'll see that it's still labeled Terralux on the listing, but it's under a new name, Lightstar. So here it is, the packaging, high CRI. Now back in the day, I would say I had this flashlight maybe eight, nine years ago, and high CRI, I didn't know what that meant. It just said for true colors. And I noticed the light has a yellow tinge to it. So I was like, okay, pretty cool flashlight. I used it and I promptly lost it. I ended up replacing it with my Stylus Pro that I still have and forgot about this one until I found it on Amazon again. So here we are, packaging, 90 lumens. It runs on a Cree X, uh, XPG2, very uh, universal LED to make a lot of different types. We'll talk about that. Bike grip, water resistant, comes with batteries, not bad. All right, definitely use rechargeables. Uh, alkalines tend to leak in your flashlight and it causes a major problem. I gave one of these as a gift to somebody and they didn't know that and their flashlight was ruined because of it, unfortunately. On the back here, how to change the battery, pretty simple. Um, here we go, non-rechargeable lithium batteries, that's kind of nice. Um, so 90 lumens, give you some information there, we'll talk about that. Light Star Corporation. So let's go ahead and open this up, get to it. Yeah, I pre open this, um, sort of. Still has to go snaps here. And we'll just take out the flashlight. We'll leave the batteries. Though so energizers are nice batteries. Probably use them on my radios. So there's the packaging. Let's go ahead and set that aside. And let's do the flashlight here. Light Star. Like the name. Very cool name. Bring this on down. Up close and personal. All right. So let's give dimensions of the light. We are five and five eighths of an inch long. That's 142 millimeters. We have a diameter at the front at three quarters of an inch. No, oh, excuse me. Um, five eighths of an inch. And the back here is three quarters of an inch. As you can see, the back is larger where that bike grip is. Um, so we'll do a little size comparison. Uh, let's see what I got on the table. I have a stream light I talked about. This is what I bought when I lost my first Terralux. Good little flashlight. Just not as warm color. It's definitely a cool blue. Let me bring this back up a little bit so you guys can see the full frame. Also brought out another. These are all two AAA powered flashlights, the Nikkor. And this is the uh, MT06MD. This is a nice full spectrum light, high CRI. And I'm going to compare it on this video so you guys can see the difference in color because you may want to know the differences. All right. And then, of course, I have this little guy here. This is another a high CRI flashlight with a very warm color, a 3000 Kelvin bulb. That's a single AAA powered light. And I got some various batteries we can bring out. Here's a single M loop AAA. And here is a AA M loop to give you guys an idea. And of course, then I have a 18650 um, to give you an idea how big that battery looks compared to the flashlights. So there you go. There's a nice little size comparison. We got one more I'd like to bring out is the Good old Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. So yeah, for a pen light, it's a quite a large light. Um, definitely a good work inspection light. Um, definitely has a large grip on the back. But uh, there you go. You can see how big it is to a deck of cards. Definitely a decent size. All right. So I keep the deck of cards handy. So let's talk about the features of the light star. Bring it on down again. Brown down. Okay. So the front, they don't give much information on the light. So I kind of, I'm guessing here. That front, I think, is polycarbonate, similar to the Stylus Pro. Um, the output's just not hot enough to worry about melting it. Um, I think the Stylus Pro here is like 85 lumens, and that's polycarbonate. They look real similar um, lens characteristics. And it's kind of glued in place on this one, so I'm guessing it's polycarbonate lens. We have a smooth reflector in there. And down in the bottom, we have an LED, which is the Cree XPG2. Um, high CRI, of course. I looked up the chart. I gauged the color lux. I don't have a meter. I just kind of compared it with my other flashlights. And I want to say it's around the 4000 Kelvin color range to give you an idea. It does have a warm yellow to it. Um, definitely warmer than the Stylus Pro and definitely warmer than this uh, Nikkor, uh, the, the MT06MD. I thought this was kind of a 
more neutral white, which is nice. But the light star, uh, definitely a little bit more yellow. Not as yellow as the Phoenix, which we're going to show you. All right, so let's go look at the body here. It's aluminum, um, probably aircraft grade, um, 6061. I think they say aircraft grade, but they don't give the, the alloy number, but that's usually what most flashlight companies use. And I finish is probably a type two or type three. Just another guess, they didn't say anything. Uh, the bell clip, or yeah, bell clip or head clip, you can remove this and turn it around, which is nice. It does move very easily. You can pivot this around. Your bite grip, which is a really cool feature. Um, I thought that was a neat thing about this flashlight when I first bought it, it was called a Terralux. Um, you can put this in your mouth while you're trying to work on something. You're not biting down on metal. So I, I thought that was a pretty neat feature. And a simple momentary on off switch. This is a one mode flashlight. Yes, I'm reviewing a flashlight with one mode on. <laughs> That's not a bad thing because this acts as a momentary or click on, click off. So it's a nice little setup. I do like that. I like simplicity. I like one mode. Sometimes it's, it's all you need, one thing. So let's see what else I got to talk about. I got the grip. Um, so it's uh, water resistant. They didn't give a rating. I'm thinking IP4, basic uh, splash resistance, uh, rain resistance, just not puddle resistance. Don't drop it in a puddle. Don't submerge it. You should be fine. Because I know it's glued in the front, and it does have an O-ring seal here in the back. Just not sure how watertight the tail cap is there. Uh, it has one meter drop resistance that is advertised. And uh, yeah, so let's go open this up. And we'll put some batteries in you. There you go. You can see a little simple O-ring. Probably needs some grease on there. I have to do that. What I do like is the thickness of this flashlight. That is all thickness there. That's amazing uh, when you compare it to other flashlights. Um, if you've looked at my other videos, you know right away. That's a big deal, and I do like that. It's just For me, it's a sign of quality. So I'm going to use these Eneloop uh, AAAs. We're going to drop those in there. And uh, they're enough to get my 90 lumen output. I put uh, two alkalines in there, a little higher voltage. Didn't see a difference in, uh, in color so, or uh, brightness. So I'm thinking it's a regulated circuit. So we'll go ahead and... Screw that back down, and you'll get to see that it's just a one mode light. So you can just momentary on, so you can flash it, or you can just click it on, click it off. So very simple setup there. So let's go to the garage and show a quick picture. <laughs> one, because it's one mode. Let's go check that out. So here I am in the garage, uh, 15 feet away from my garage door, aiming it dead on to the center. Um, and we have 90 lumens here. And this will run five hours on two AAA batteries. I find that pretty nice. And they say the throw of this light is 68 meters. Not a bad flashlight. And the color in the image is a slightly lighter. Uh, I would say it trends more towards the yellow side, just ever so slightly. All right, let's go back to the table. Here we are, back to the light star. That's easy. I like having one mode. It's like one of the easiest to review. I love that. But, uh, you know, one mode is good. So let's go ahead and show you what that looks like, and we'll compare it to the... Nikkor, and we'll compare it to the Stylus Pro, and we'll compare it to the little Phoenix LD02. They do make a two AAA version of this one, which I plan to pick up in the future. It has the exact same LED, so you can expect the exact same result, just a little brighter. So we're going to go ahead and compare those. I'm going to pull these off to the left here, and I will go ahead and turn the lights off. I'm going to go ahead and turn the light star on. There we go. I'm going to take a car, it's handy. Ready to rock here, and then I'll tell you which flashlights as we demo this light. Okay, let's go turn these off. All right. So 90 lumens, here we are. Okay, so this light's up really nice. I mean, it's a nice yellow um, cast to it. Uh, let me see if I can bring it away, bring it in. Yeah, it'll look better when I bring out the other flashlight, so the color balance is good. But the, this light's everything you need to do when you're inspecting an area. The colors look really good on my table, like when I'm shining it at, like, you know, like my red radio here. The reds look really good. Um, pretty impressed with that. Let's see, I'm trying to look at something else here. Oh, this Marania kit radio. Got handy. Here you go. There's some colors on it to give you an idea how this is rendering. It does a great job. I mean, it does amazing. So there we are. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and bring out. Here's a Stylus Pro. This will be my left hand. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn it on. And we'll bring them in. So left hand, Stylus Pro. And right hand is the Light Star. So there you go. You can see the difference in beam. Um, of course, the Stylus Pro has a tight beam, and then the Light Star has this broad beam. Definitely more yellow characteristic there, as you can tell. So now I'm going to bring in the, uh, let's see, we're going to bring in the Night Core. Okay, I'm going to put this one on high. All right, so this is the Night Core. I think that's high. Let's see. There we go. There's high. So we'll bring these in. You can notice the Night Core has a nice neutral color. 
and also has a nice color rendition. This one's a high CRI light of 90 plus. Um, a nice light if you like a neutral white. And I'll have links to that uh, light in the video description or in the iCard section. I'm just bringing this in so you can see the difference in color. You know, the light star definitely has a yellow hue to it. Now this is where it gets interesting, where we have the Phoenix uh, with its 3000 Kelvin temperature. So this is the Phoenix. There's the light star, so we'll bring those in. You can see that the Phoenix LD02 um, has a more yellow color to it. So that's why I think this light star is around a 4000 Kelvin light, because this guy here is rated at 3000 Kelvin. And then that Nikkor I showed you is rated at 5000. So I think kind of this puts it right in the middle. So there you are. Okay, so I think we're done there. Go ahead and turn this off. Put the lights back on. So you got a nice little demo there, real nice. Let's do some final thoughts on the light star. Go ahead and move that out of the way to turn this off. LS90, okay, the light star LS90. I'll bring it down again. Let's see if I get my color balanced right. I usually put the deck of cards in there, it kind of helps color balance the light. Okay, so yeah, light star LS90. Is it worth $18.99? I would say yes, if you only need one mode, um, and you want a bike grip, and you want a high CRI index light, and just simplicity, you know, one setting, 90 lumens is enough when you have this high CRI, because typically uh, it tends not to be as intense of a light. Uh, it tends to do most of the work for you. The nice thing is that if you're in an engine bay and you're looking at colored wires, or if you're working in a computer or some, somewhere where it's dark and you need to know what color wire you're looking at, this is what you're going to want in your pocket. Um, plus, it's bigger. You're not going to lose it typically, like I did mine. I don't know where it went. I think I had it in my car and it just... I was using it for something there on the road when I broke down. But uh, that's the, the Light Star. Um, it gets a recommended buy at $18.99. I think the price is right for this. Um, definitely five hours of runtime. Uh, that's great for 90 lumens. Pretty excited about that. And uh, two rechargeable batteries. I could see that doing really good with runtimes. And uh, yeah, water resistance could be better, but uh, I'm still impressed with how this light uh, handles, feels, and works. It's probably one of my favorites. Uh, for the AAA family, and I have quite a few of them, as you can see here. You know, some are very pocket friendly, some are very slimline, some are very, you know, cool factor, like this Nikkor. It's a really nice light. Um, it's definitely a, a step up in quality. If you're looking for a high, high quality, Nikkor is a good good label there. So, yes, this gets to buy. Um, Stylus Pro, eh, it depends. I think sometimes you run over 20 bucks, and this is around a $28 flashlight. So, for 10 bucks more, you can get the Nikkor. Um, you get a few extra modes here on this one, which it was, isn't a bad deal. Uh, but it always starts out in low. Um, I do like the fact that this has momentary on the same all the time. So if you just want to tap it, and you can it lights up really nice. I do like that fact. So there it is, the Lightstar LS90. gets recommended by, yes, all day long. for And it has different colors, too. They have an orange, which is awesome. And they have a blue. Uh, they got some kind of off-color tan gray, they call it, or something. <laughs> if they call it gray, but it looks more... Kind of like a bronzy color. But uh, there you go. Um, definitely worth a shot. Links below for you guys. Um, hope you enjoyed this. I do like these lights. They're a lot of fun, as you can tell. I love collecting these things. I think they're amazing. Um, definitely cool designs, elements. I like every bit of them. <laughs> so definitely stay tuned. Um, with that said, yeah, hit subscribe. Hit the bell icon if you love flashlights, especially high CRI pen lights like this. They call this a pen light, even though I would call it a flashlight because it is kind of a bigger variety. Um, it's not, it's bigger than your average pen. <laughs> um, definitely hit subscribe at the bell icon for that. And then three, comment below what you think of the LS90. Uh, it would be something you'd pick up. Do you like the idea of one light mode? Do you like the idea of the high CRI uh, lighting uh, with that warmer yellow tint? Do you believe that five hours is adequate enough for what your needs are? Just let me know. It'd be cool to hear your opinions. All right, guys, take care, and we'll see you in the next video.